الله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا عبد المعيد والرسول المسدد المحمود الأحمد حبيبنا وحبيب إله العالمين أهل القاسم المصطفى محمد عباد الله أوصيكم بتقوى الله وإطاعة أمره قال الحكيم في كتاب الكريم بعد أول الله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الرسول بلغ ما أنزل إليك من ربك وإن لم تبحل فما بلغت رسالته والله يقسمك من الناس إن الله لا يهتر قوم الكافرين صدق الله عليه وسلم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين My dear brothers and sisters الحمد لله that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be the Muslims to be the Mu'mineen that we come together and we advise each other to taqwa taqwa that no doubt it is to be aware of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all aspects of our life it's witnessing us and seeing how we are acting versus his command and his order Taqwa is the way that if we stick to that one and achieve it, no doubt. Ittaqo Allah, yu'allimkum Allah. Be with Allah, Allah is all the knowledge, all the power, all the ability that will come to you sometime. If you read Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number 6, ayah number 67, we will see clearly that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayya al-Rasul, Balligh ma unzila ilayhim al-Rakhir. O Messenger of Allah, O you that you are carrying my message, Balligh, it does not say, say, but go ahead and complete whatever that is revealed to you from your Lord, from your Rab. And by Allah Taf'al, remember the words, the way that it is used in here, the way that it is, it doesn't say by Allah Taf'al, if you don't say it, by Allah Taf'al, فَمَا بَلَّقْتَ رِسَالَةَ The Risala, or the Messenger who is not completed. وَالْبَهُوِ عَسَمُ كَمَنَ النَّاسِ Allah will protect you from people. There are some messages in there that is a little bit, it needs to be thinking about that in order to know exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling a Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know the word of buluq, baliq, baliq. Someone that it reaches to the age of puberty, he becomes baliq. Individual that is com complete and he has to go and she has to follow the path of Allah complete form. Now, this is the word that on 18th day of the month of the Hajjah, which is coming Monday, Sunday, Monday, now we will see that something happens in our lifestyle, the reason that you are here, and a part of you, it is in the history of humanity, 1400 years ago. And what happened? 1435 years ago, actually, we will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Ayyuhar Rasul, O Messenger of Allah, Balik, complete what is revealed to you. And if you do not do that action, the fi'l, you have not completed your Messenger view. Allah will protect you. So, it comes to an area that we will see Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving five khutbas during the time of Hajjatul Wida, the last Hajj that he had performed from Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari that he was with Rasulullah and he had a long life until the, uh, later on, until the time of Imam Bagr as he says, he's actually quoting that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was performing Hajj. He, a lot of people had come with him. And that was the first and the last Hajj that he had anyway. So as you know, as he was going around the Kaaba, there were so many people that he thought they might miss him in order not to see what he's, how he is performing the Hajj. 
He says he got on the camel and told the people, do exactly what I am doing. So this manwasik of the Hajj that you are doing, and you start from Hajj al-Aswad, and you go as a ringing against the tawf around the tawaf that you make. All of that was shown by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Ibrahim alayhi salam, and continuously from the progeny of Ismail, Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, and today to you, and inshallah ta'ala, to last Al Muhammad, that is performing how this Hajj has been performed before. Uh, on the 10th, this is the 10th year of the Hijra of Rasulullah And he is performing his Hajj. Now, I am putting all of these issues that it is in nine volumes of Al-Qadir by Allah Ma'amini in a nutshell to see that Allah inshallah help me to be able to go ahead and within this half an hour to give a drop out of that beautiful ocean of the knowledge that he has attributed to us. Rasulullah after this Hajj is this Hajj is finished. Then, in the Arafat, as he moves, he gives a khutbah there. The khutbah in Arafat, again, he starts with the word of O oh people. This is the last time that I'm with you. And it is called Hajjatul Wada. Accept it from me that I was a good messenger for you. I will leave with you these two valuables. And I won't be with you. The two valuables. Kitab Allah wa itrati ahl bayti. The book of Allah and my itra, my household, my ahl bayt. You see, this is where everybody, may Allah be pleased with all of you, as soon as you are sitting in your tashahud, you say, Allah sallallahu Muhammad, which is his itra, which is Allah Muhammad, which is what we are saying continuously. And then it is recorded that on that time, of course, the first khutbah that he gave, he started with that in the Yom al Arafah. The second khutbah that he gave, as he was moving again, going to the Menon, he gave this same khutbah again. So we talk about beginning of that one, the two valuables. What's the reason that we have to, Quran is complete, this is not complete yet, it's going to be completed on that day. But what is wrong? The Salat is done, the, all of these issues is written in the Quran, then what is it that it has to become completed? You will see that our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling the people what to do after him. And Mena again is explaining the same thing and is starting with and then it's the complete from the Tadalain, the Tadalain, the Tadalain, the Bayti, and then it, in fact it goes into the all of these masadir that I have taken from varieties of the books of all of the books of Ahl Sunnah, all of them actually is coming from there. He says, Ma en tamasaktum behi lan tadellu min bagi Allah. If you stick to these two things after me, you will never be misguided. What's happening to our life? What happened to our Ummah? Now here it is, of course, all of these that I have for those of you that you wish to have uh, this. Uh, copies of that one and check it out. It is from Sahih Muslim, volume of what, all of that is talking about. Again from Sahih Bukhari, again the same thing, Termedi, again we go to Bab Abba Sunan Sunan Abi Dawood, Kitab al-Mahdi, many of these books that we have in here, Jabir ibn Samura, the Sahabis, and others. So what we're talking about, 11 volumes of explanation and all of it from the books of Ahl Sunnah to bring out to say what happened on the 18th day of the month of the Hajj, which is this coming Sunday or Monday according to the Lunar Movement. So, the book of Allah, Allah protector of that one, will never change. So that book is remained. 1400 years, they have tried it. These humble brothers of yours witnessed that these people from this administration that we are in Allah, they came and they came to the gathering and they said this Quran is beautiful, beautiful, talk about that and he says the only thing that we should do, we should revise it. What should we do with it? He says we have to take the word of jihad out of it. And then all the Muslims they start to boil him, including this humble brother of yours. Our hand was up to go ahead and tell him, and in fact he's, he's one of those people that uh, uh, 11 
uh, or 110 billion dollars, million dollars that has been spent. He's one of those people that with the name of Islam comes to Muslims, but he's against Islam. Now he says that we have to go ahead and revise it and take the word of jihad out of it. Why jihad? Because he explains it, it is a holy war. So you explain your own words and you feed it back to us and this is ugly. No, we didn't say that. Jihad is a beautiful concept. Jihada, to struggle, good. You made the jihad today yourself. You came all up to this masjid. And that is a jihad. And jihad to achieve something. You may do jihad to achieve something ugly or something good. All of that is jihad. Therefore, they are trying to change. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no. I will introduce to you, I bring you the Quran protected. Nobody can change it. The second part of it is, you have a choice. Quran is forced upon you that it will be exactly the same Quran that I wanted to. Okay. The second part of it is, that in that Quran, I'm introducing that Surah 33, Ayah 33, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes this to happen. The irada of Allah is there. It has nothing to do with us. His irada is to take away all of the abomination away from you, O oh, you household of the Prophet Why? Because our Rasul does not have any rich abomination, any wrong things, anything that he wants ugliness in himself. So when it is connected to Wa'ala Muhammad, it has to be the same values at least. It has to be the same issues that both of them have to be compatible with each other. That one is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa infallible, the other one has to become infallible. So this is where more answers. Plus, how many more places? Many places. As you know in Aya Mubahila, and uh, actually, this Qadir al-Khum and many of all of Now here it is, uh, Allah will protect you from people. Now we will see people are really not too happy what he wants to do. Why they are not happy? Very simple. Imam Ali was three years old, boy. He came to the house of his cousin, which is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He was 10 years old. When he noticed that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is receiving the revelation from the power of Haram, and he became the messenger. Now, as soon as this happened, Imam Ali is with him. At that time, he's not the Imam yet. He's with him, 10-year-old boy, and he knows exactly what's going on. <coughs> he stays with Rasulullah 13 days in the city of Mecca. With all the problems that he received, now he's with him. Ali is 23 years old, and then the Quraysh make a decision that they have to go ahead and kill Rasulullah, you know that. Laylatul Mabit, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he decides that he will run away from the city of Mecca, go to Medina, and replaces his vicegerent in the city of Mecca, which is Imam Ali. All of you know that, these are all written in our books. So Imam Ali stays, 23 year old boy, in the place of Rasulullah, in the city of Mecca, with all the courage to come and kill him. And it happened, they all came, they said, where is the Prophet? And of course, he didn't know. And he, two weeks later, picked up all of the family of Rasulullah, and from Mecca he went to Medina. Ten years he's with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in all the world. And wherever the, and Rasul wanted him to be, he was there. Now, every time that the Quraysh tried to attack Rasulullah, he was the Qutal al-Arab, they called him. Ali alayhi salam was the one that he went and he defended Islam. Many of the uncles and the people that they are now into the Islam, by force, they are there, but they are not happy with Rasulullah. They said that the one that he was doing all of that work against us, that what we wanted is Ali. And then at the same time, the revelation is coming to Rasulullah If you don't do that fear, that action, you have not completed your messenger. What is that fear? The fear and act is that finally, on the Qadir al as you probably know, our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is holding the hand of Ali alayhi salam as a fi'l, as an act. Action. Asking everybody to come to sit down, and this is what we are going to do. As a, if you don't do this fair, this action, for those that are hearing it, good. For those that they are going forward, come back, or you convey the message.
message to them as we are conveying the message to you. So this is what he said. <laughs> Convey the message in this fail, the action that is taking place. And if you don't do this act, your resolution is not completed. Allah will protect you from the people. At that time, we will see, we will read it, of course, that there is a man that on behalf of some of the uh, so-called Sahabas that they are around there, his name is Harith ibn Nu'man. You have heard about him. He finally, as soon as he says uh, that this Ali, man kuntu mawla, fahadha aliyun mawla. The one that I have been a good mawla to them, a good wali to them, a good protector to them, the one that it is authoritarian to you. <coughs> After me, he says, this Ali is your authoritarian. Some people were boiling, didn't like it. A man with the name of Harith ibn Nu'man, on behalf of some of those monophagin that they were, whether in the city of Medina or around the Surah of Salaam, he stood up and objected. He says, Ya Rasulullah, O Muhammad, you told us to leave all of our lot and Uzza and all of the we did. You told us to make Salat, we did. You tell us to pass, we do. What is this last thing that you are telling me? Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioning that. وَمَا يَنْتِقَانِ الْحَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيًا يُوْهَا Our Rasulullah does not say whatever he wants. This is a wahi that it came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to him and he is saying it to, the, to you. And he is telling it to you. But then this ayah it says, don't be afraid of the people. Go ahead and say that. Harith ibn Nu'man, actually he answers. You say this is a revelation that it come to you? He says, yes, it is a revelation. It is a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he asks right then, at the same time, that is recorded to many of the ahadith that we have. Harith ibn Nu'man said, if that is a revelation from Allah and it's a truth, Ya Allah, send a stone or something on my head so I will be destroyed. People say, Amen. And this happened. Everybody knew that. Harith ibn Nu'man was one of those that when he disregarded and he was on behalf of the rest of those people, he asked Allah and Allah gave it to him too. Now, this concept is continuous. We are not finished with that one. Allah will protect you from the humanity, from the people. What do they do? They say after the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with briefing. You probably know, all Muhammad now is the, actually, the target of the Kuffar and Muhammad. Because they cannot do nothing with the Holy Quran. It's there to follow. Now, all Muhammad, whether it is the first one after the death of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whether it is Imam Ali alayhi salam, then the battle of Sertain takes place. Between the so-called Sahabas, you know that. Muawiyah is a Sahaba, he's a companion of Rasulullah. But he's totality against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this battle. That he starts the battle against it, Imam Ali alayhi salam. For how long? For 18 months. What happened? Hundreds, how many thousands of people were killed? This was happening. Continuation of that point. When Imam Hassan actually, when Imam Hassan has actually becomes the Imam after the Imam Ali alayhi salam, he is supposed to be buried in his own house. You know that when he's, again, the history is continuously talking about that, which I do not want to elaborate. And to be honest, very honest with you, I am uh, uh, hesitant to even bring all of these histories that it is within us, among us. I'm not talking about one school of thought history. The history is that is all available in our libraries. Go ahead and take a look at them. So we will see that Imam Hassan is not allowed to be buried in his house, his own house. What happened? To an extent that they even uh, shoot an arrow <coughs> to the janaza of Imam Hassan. And instead of going to his own house to be buried with Rasulullah, then he has to go to the Baqi to be buried to a cemetery that then will be his and what happened to Imam Hussein? You know that when Karbala and Ashura, which is on the fourth day of Muharram, not the fourth day of the day, November, 10th day of Muharram, <coughs> you will see that when it happens, 
when it happens that they said Hussein is not supposed to become at all involved in following the Rasulullah sallallahu to an extent that they make a fatwa that he is ruling against the ruler of the time and that the ruler of the time is Yazid ibn Mawiyah Tehna and Sufyan and all of those things and you all have heard enough about the Ashura of Hussein alayhi to an extent that the Muslims are rising against Islam by itself and that is continuous it will never be finished as soon as of course this concept is over our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa comes from the Hajjat al to Medina and introduces the same thing man kuntu mawla fahada aliyah again all the books that we have in here in, 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 in the varieties of the book of our uh, Ahlul Sunnah Jama'ah it's available to go ahead and read it and find out I, this humble brother of yours are available inshallah ta'ala after salat to be with you if you have any question this masjid alhamdulillah ta'ala is the one that is open you can talk, you can say whatever you want to after the Jum'ah and respectfully we will sit down have a cup of tea inshallah ta'ala and tackle the issues as long as it is based on brotherly and alhamdulillah for such a blessing that Allah has given to us that with the varieties of school of thought we will be able to go ahead and be with each other inshallah <coughs> now the time has passed today a group of people that they know that this is written in their history what do they do? They go against the will of Rasulullah and the Holy Quran. They go against this ayat of the Tathir. They go against the ayat of the Mubahila and ayat of the Khadir. And then they will not, they still want to go ahead and destroy Islam within God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After this happening, then the ayat of the Ikhman Jawah, which is al yawma Akhman Tulakum وَأَتْمَنْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَضِيْتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ For your information, this column and that column and that verses and the other, this is called the column of the Khadir that has been put into this masjid because of that event that has taken place and the ayah of Iqmar on top of it. Now with this, you will see that no doubt when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it will happen, even though the non-Muslims do not want it. With the name of Taliban, Al-Qaeda, Shabab, Boko Haram, today Daesh, all of these things is happening. For what reason? They cannot fight Quran, but they are fighting al Muhammad to destroy all the history of us. To an extent that they will come up and say it is a bid'ah to have the celebration, bid'ah to have the birthday, Better to talk about Khadir Khum. Better to talk, my gosh, why? Don't you want to see behind the scene? Don't you want to know that in order to destroy the history of Islam, first, they have to destroy the grave of the Sahaba. So you don't know the history. Then they say, we go ahead and destroy the grave of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then Rasulullah is no longer. Then everything comes, where is it? How is it? What is it? Where is it? It's over. That is what they want to do. And Alhamdulillah, Wallahu khairul makreen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer them, will reply them, and Islam is on the verge of victorious, no doubt, Walau karam ta'adayun, even though the kuffar don't want it. Ya Rabbi ya Allah, let us help us to be what you want us to be, rather than what we want to be. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wala asrim na l-insan ar-Rahim al-Khusr, illa ladina amanu 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 amanu
صلى على محمد وعلي وخاتم وحسن وحسين وتسعة المعصومين من ذرية الحسين عليه السلام اللهم أجل في فرز مولانا صاحب الأسير والسلام Brothers and sisters If the ikmal of the deen had taken place deen is completed on what? Your deen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Imam Mahdi has to be established your goal and every human being's goal on earth is to bring justice and peace on earth. That justice and peace will only come if you stick to the Holy Quran that it came from the most just of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you want a peace, his command has to govern my life, our life, and then spread it, spread it to all the earth. Then that peace and justice will be on earth. How do we do that? And Allah la yuqayyir ma bi woman. How do you yuqayyir ma bi woman? Allah will not continuously suddenly change all of our condition unless each one of us will be changed. Each one of us will stick to the Quran and Al Muhammad. Muhammad and Al Muhammad. If we stick to that one, not by words, by but rather by action, then. I am made, then we are made, then the earth becomes under that banner of peace and justice that each and every one of us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as we talk to each other, we don't talk to each other as a, a nationalism, as a bigya. We leave those alone. We talk to each other as a brothers that according to what we have heard from Allah that in fact, in this place, I look at the humanity as my brethren in faith. Those that they are outsiders and they are not Muslims, we look at them as a human in race. Either the people are brethren in faith with me or human in race with me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rahman. He gives a blessing to all of us. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for each other first of all. Say, Ya Allah, you know that your love brought us to this last year. Ya Allah, it was your command that told us go to Salat al and we came. Ya Allah, we came as a Jama'ah. There is no way that I can live by myself. I has to become a Jama'ah. I do not exist in the dictionary of Jama'ah. All has to become us. So us will become him. With us, together, work with each other, rather than against each other, talk to each other, rather than not to talk to each other, be with each other in all aspects of our life. Then our life will become the life that Rasulullah lives. Remember, again, the last hadith that I would like to tell to you. Elohi, edat khaltan el وفي ذلك سرور عدوك وإذا دخلت من الجنة في ذلك سرور نبيك وأنا والله أعلم أن سرور نبيك أحب إليك إن شاء الله يا الله if I start doing something wrong and you take me to hellfire شيطان is happy يا الله if I do something right we become together lover of each other Stick with each other. Then who will be happy? Rasulullah will be happy. Ya Allah, I know that you want the happiness of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi rather than the happiness of shayateen. May Allah bless us to be together, to work with each other, to stick with each other, and to say, Ya Allah, defeat those that they want to divide us from each other and make the things, the Islam, a beautiful Islam that we are around us, to become what they want rather than what you want. Allahumma sallu al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma sallu al-Nasaratin. Man sallu al-Yusha al-Muslimin wa al-Ashaqin wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma akhdur man khadal al-Muslimin. Wa ashra mardana wa arham mutana sallam dinana wa dinana wa arbaad Allah. Inna Allah yamur wa al-Adil al-Islam wa al-Tawz al-Qurba. Wa yamur wa al-Fahshar wa al-Mahar wa al-Fah. Ya aydu kama al-Muhum tadakkarun. Wa ala bihkur dua akbar. Wa Allah yalam wa al-Muhum tasna'un. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qadu wa Allah wa al-Muhum wa al-Muhum wa al-Muhum wa al-Muhum wa al-Muhum wa al-
لم يرد ولم يولد ولم يكن له حقوقا احد قوموا الى صلاتكم يا اخي اللهم رب هذه